Start Sway is yet another feature that allows us to move our things in a very unique manner. So I have the Start Sway, the default, no parameters uh, in the code for the bull right now. So let's see what happens. So we click on the bull and we can see that the bull is looking like it is bucking, which is a, a great motion for this particular thing. But let's jump in and see how it works. And so we click on the bull, we click on code, and we can see that Start Sway is already in the on click function. Now let's add some parameters and there are three that you can play with. The first is the amplitude. The second is the frequency with the default of 0 0.05. So we'll just go with that for now. And then the default frequency or default axes, rather the third uh, parameter it is default X, but you can change it to any of the three. And so we'll do an um, amplitude of 10, a frequency of 0.5, and then the Z axis. And so now when we click on this, we can see that it is now kind of swaying back and forth on that particular axis. The fun part about this is that you can add multiple start sways together. And so let's say that we go in here, we're gonna make another line of this and we'll keep the same thing, but we'll put it on the X. And then when we play, we can now see that we are getting kind of a, a bit of a more dynamic uh, multi-axis sway movement here. Uh, this looks pretty regimented, uh, so you can really play with the amplitude and the frequency, especially when you're combining multiple sways together to get that effect that you're looking for.